In this video, I'm gonna show you a route that you can add to your air raid offense that is probably the most underrated route concept in Madden. And it's also something that you can utilize that's gonna get you over 30 yard clouds. It's gonna basically be a better version of a crossing route. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. It's free to do that. We're talking about the Arizona Cardinals playbook in this video, and we're gonna be going over this play out of gun trips. Um, and the play is sale. Now, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna have Mike Evans, if you're in with the Bucks, or if you have Devontae Adams, whoever your best receiver is, put him at the uh, number one receiver. We're gonna be going over this route and why it is so, so, so good. And the beauty of this formation is it actually has um, two different basic versions of this, which we'll be going over in this video. So I'm gonna put Chris Godwin in the slot real quick, and then we'll put Scotty Miller maybe on the outside. Okay, so we're gonna be going over the play sale. Now you can run this with your trips to the short side or the wide side, it's up to you. I'm actually gonna be updating our air raid offense with the gun trips in the coming days. We've got a masterful, masterful offense out of the gun trips. This is one of my favorite sets in the game because of the fact that we're able to spread the whole field and be able to use the whole field and we're in a quad set. The quad set allows the match principles basically to work in, in these sets. So we can do a lot with this. Now this play fade stops um, is really good as well. I just want to do a quick little rundown on this. Now the one thing we don't have is we don't have play action. So just kind of be aware of that. What I like to do in the in the kind of the, the place of play action is just motion block this guy. So I'm just going to motion him over here and snap it and he'll pick up most pressure. Anyways, you'll see, of course, as I say that, I don't I don't know how I don't pick that up. I don't even know where that was coming from. But anyways, let me show it to you again. Um, good old practice mode. But you'll see right here. So I have my clouds on 30, right? Um, and again, we're not going to worry too much with the blitz. I'm going to come back to that here in just a second. Let me mute my uh, computer here. So, so anyways, what you're going to see with this is the fade stops play. Notice when you flip, it is a little different than trips tied in when you flip. But anyways, let me just go over fade stops real quick. So you could literally just run this like PD counter go. So you just streak, um, you just do this setup right here. Very simple, okay? And I just want you to watch Goblin's route. You're gonna see that it's kind of a unique crossing route and he's gonna get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. As you can see right here, kind of gets in a sweet spot of the zone. And the other thing that you can do with fade stops is you can smart route this route so it goes even deeper. So let's say you're trying to get a little bit of a bomb concept on, you could do something like this. And a lot of times against cover three, this right here can absolutely torch it over the seam, as you can see right there. So this has been one of my favorite plays for the last two years um, out of Arizona's playbook. Now, the other piece of this is we have a really cool ability with this offense to be able to attack them on both sides of the field. It's one of the main features of this offense. So what we can do is um, run the slot out play. Now, you don't have to make any adjustments to this, but I do like to slant Chris Godwin. I just think it's better for the whole play. And then if you want to, you can take your running back and put him on a table route. Uh, I really like this if you wanna go five out. If you don't wanna go five out, then I would motion block Gronkowski um, and then you could either slant or hitch guy when whatever you want to do okay but something simple but anyways let's just show you the route so this sale route right here if you watch it closely you're gonna see right once he crosses the face of this player he's gonna get over the top of the zone now let me show you that a little bit closer um, this is why I like to run with my trips to the short side but you can honestly do this on either side and you can also motion this guy. But if you take a look closely at the route, it's kind of like the verticals route um, from like a trips tight end style offense. But anyways, you'll see here, if I get a good block here on this, this guy and I have time, just pass lead that to the right and you see that that 30 yard cloud can't get back to defend that. And it's even a, a little bit better if you have guns. It's, I mean, it's definitely better if you have gunslinger because he's not gonna lob the ball as bad. Um, Brady's release and combined with that, that he only has, I think, set feet lead, it is a little bit problematic. But this concept is really good. Now, again, you have this little check down to the hitch in the flat combo if you want to throw it. And then as you can see, the cloud sucks in and that's wide open on the sideline. Now, the other thing that's really good about this route is it is a man beater. So let's say that they are running 
um, let's say that they're running some man coverage on you because you know you're in a, a spread set it's really good against this against spread this year to run man what you'll see is when he cuts to the right just pass lead him to the right a lot of times he'll get open Mike Evans doesn't have the route running that we're looking for but I'll show you one other thing that you can do if you're looking to try to get him open um, and what that is let's just take this guy and put him in a third and put him in a, uh, a purple just to illustrate this play and it's just to throw this ball like right there and aggressive catch it you see how you get this dive catch i think it's one of the best features of this play because you can throw this in two different windows and it also allows us to do something like this where we motion the back and just put him on a wheel and what you'll see is he'll pull zones out of the way and then that's going to leave that throw right there and that throw right there is really underrated because the user a lot of the time is going to have to user on the trip side of the field at least that's the way most people are going to you know approach this because again you know you're in a quads you're in a quad set to that side so you don't even have to put the running back on a wheel you'll see he'll still come underneath it just pass lead that up and you see how you can throw that through a lot of zones so it's not just on the sideline that you can throw those. This is one of my favorite routes because it's a multi, It's what I call a multi-window route, meaning it's open at different points in the play. So it's open early. It's open in the intermediate section of the play. It's open late in the concept. Um, so there's a lot that you could do with this. If you're getting blitzed, my favorite thing to do is to hitch Godwin, put the running back on an out. Those are two really good blitz beaters this year. So just do this right here, put the running back on an out. And then when you motion, um, you can do this real quick, just max protect and then do those adjustments. And what you'll see is when you motion this guy, he'll be in a block, see that? And then just block him right there. He'll pick up all the pressure. And then now you have plenty of time to be able to get there or to throw this over the top of the cloud. So one of my favorite concepts, sale. It fits really nicely with the spread. And then if you wanna do another, another cool setup is to wheel the running back and then have the slant right here. This is more of if I'm not necessarily trying to attack here, but what you'll see is you do have that wheel concept that is still really good this year, um, or so good this year. I mean, it's just such a good play. Uh, so there's just so much you could do with this play, but it's all centered around this route to the square receiver, which I think is the best isolation route in Madden. Um, it's just better. It, it, it just literally is better than a motion crosser. What a lot of people like to do, and I'll see if I, I don't know if I have bunch, but I know I have cluster. Let me see if I have bunch. I don't think I do. Um, but what a lot of people like to do in, in Madden is they'll do a crosser and then they'll flip their play. So let me show you what I mean out of cluster. Just real simple here. So we'll just put Evans on a crosser just to symbolize this. And then we're going to motion him outside. Now this is a good play, but the, the big issue with this is number one, you can't motion block anybody from cluster. Obviously from bunch, you could block the tight end. But the other thing that's a little bit problematic is you can't really, th you're not going to get that nice aggressive catch. He doesn't always actually get over 30 yard clouds, especially to the short side. Like there's a lot of things that you, you know, you need to be aware of. So because of that, that's one of the many reasons why I really like this route because I can throw it there and I can throw it on the sideline. And so it's just one of those really good isolation routes. And then the other thing is you can motion this guy inside if you want to. So let's say you want to really make sure, you know, that you're able to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud, then you can just simply motion this guy inside and now you have the threat of a seam streak of course but the other thing is if you see he's going to get over really fast and it's just a pass lead straight up to the outside and you see it gets open so this is just one of my favorite plays to mix in with the air raid um i just think it's a super super simple concept but really effective and there's a lot you could do with it there's a lot of freestyle you do anything you want with the three receivers so you know if one of my one of my really um favorite setups to do because of the fact that we know how they're going to have to play this concept we know that their user is going to have to carry the crosser if he leaves it it's open right so what we can do is we can just simply do this something simple uh like this or we could take you know r1 and streak him out of the way and put the running back on and out this is a great little read um you're gonna see you got those all those underneath routes and then if they if they still break down, then you have that over the top. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my air raid offensive ebook, it's in my Patreon. And it's also going to be getting a major overhaul. Just kind of going through some spread stuff right now and trying to, again, just figure out how we can beat the blitz effectively, not have to worry about too much pressure, but still at the same time be able to have the ability to send four or five receivers on routes to create our concept. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out my membership where you can get all my eBooks for one price of, or for just the price of 10 bucks a month, the link is in the description. And then there's also some other videos on the screen if you want to take a look at those. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.